Hello Capricorns and welcome into Friday. I hope you guys have had a great week. We are going to dive into this message of the day. If you guys have not seen the full on reading, go ahead and check out the short. I will post it up here. Or if you guys have not seen the short beforehand, I'll post it here. This is going to be the full on reading. And then I also told you guys I would post um, the new moon reading. So that way you guys could reference that as well. That will be posted up here too. So let's go ahead and take a look, smash those like buttons, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to make sure you are subscribed. We have the energy of step outside of your comfort zone. North node energy with bring love into the situation, new moon in Aries, and it's time to take action. I'm sorry, new moon in Aquarius with it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Wow. Capricorn. This definitely feels like something that's happening that isn't necessarily, um, I'm not, I don't like the word normal, but it's not necessarily predictive of, you know, what, look at this, the two of cups. I, I'm telling you, I feel like this is some sort of relationship. I feel like this is about some sort of connection. Some sort of new beginning. Show us what we need to see here. Oh my God. There is somebody that is emotionally wanting to invest here in a connection. Now, it doesn't matter if it's male or female. This is somebody who is taking the initiative to say something, taking the initiative again to step outside of their comfort zone, something that they've not necessarily done. And, and possibly the way that this comes about, the way you accept it may not necessarily be indicative of your nature. I do feel like there's a lot of evolving and changing that's going on. And I feel like this does have a lot to do with some sort of long-term commitment, long-term connection. Now, now Capricorn, what this, you know, relationship may be, um, it may be romantic, it may be platonic, but I do feel like it is new with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is a brand new beginning. I feel like you guys are, you know, really putting in the time, the energy and effort to build the situation from scratch. We have the Eight of Wands, the Tower and the King of Pentacles. Well, um, <laughs> I do feel like there's some sort of like life-changing information that may come through here for you, Capricorn. Yeah. There's definitely an influx of information. There's definitely an influx of messages. Something that has not necessarily been spoken about. And this may even be you to another person or you to another energy or situation. Yeah. Information that has been held back, hidden, again, not spoken about, not talked about. It's been kept close to the vest. I feel like this information is now coming out. It's being expressed and being exposed. And I feel like it's, it's an influx of energy. It's an influx of messages. And maybe it's how this person feels. Maybe it's what's been on their mind. Maybe it, it could be anything. We have the moon. The two of pentacles and the high priestess. It feels like someone has been trying to figure out like what to say or when to say it or I feel like trying to get like their I don't know, like their ego and their subconscious kind of in line. Yeah. 
Ten of Cups. You know, it definitely feels like whatever this situation is, it is going to lead to some sort of great and eternal happiness. I do feel like this is something that's going to be long term, you know, happiness and greatness for you, Capricorn. I don't feel like this is something that you will have to question or worry about. But the way that it comes in, it's very spiritually evolved. Um, I do feel like this is going to challenge not only this other person or energy, but it's also going to challenge you here. Um, I do feel like there's a great deal of happiness that is to come from this and a great deal of, um, you know, peace and joy that'll be here as well. But this is a evolvement of confidence and balance within the self in order to speak on what needs to be spoken, what has been hidden. Um, I do feel like there's an offer of something that is new, something that is different, um, but it has to be faced and it has to be addressed, the information, the energy. Mm. Tell us about the Page of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Magician. This definitely feels like a manifestation, a dream of something that comes true, something that you've really worked for. Um, I do feel like if you utilize the energy that's available to you, astrologically, you'll find you'll find a very beautiful new beginning that arises here for you. Yeah. The tower. So, so I'm going to say this. This, this person's, again, it's like their ego and subconscious, like there's, there's a tower that happens in order for things to, to come into balance. Give us one more here. Okay, so whatever this is, this person has had to emotionally evolve in a certain aspect of their life here, um, and I feel like what's happened is, you know, the energy astrologically, whatever, you know, that's going on individually, it's created a tower moment in order for kind of their ego and their subconscious to form a sort of alignment here. Um, as far as movement and as far as where to channel that energy that they're experiencing towards some sort of new beginning here, Capricorn. And then we have the chariot that came out towards the Ten of Cups. Again, I do feel like this is something that is um, on, on your path. This is a part of your purpose. This is something that you should be, you know, doing something that you should be involved with here. That when I went to do the two of cups. So for a lot of you, this is going to be a relationship. This is going to be something that is part of your path, part of your purpose. Um, this is going to be romantic. But the biggest thing here is understanding that this is something that is coming in because of the work that is done. It's not just going to come in, right? It's not just going to fall into your lap. Like if you have not done the work, 
the avenue for the relationship is not going to come in. This will be very clear to you and the energy will happen very seamlessly. It will not be something that you have to force. Um, and that's what a lot of people aren't understanding, right? So we have to do the work internally. It attracts other people that do the work internally. It's not going to be something that you have to force. It is a manifestation. There is a lot of communication um, that comes in. And I feel like this is something that is, you know, something that someone has been holding close to the vest. A lot of people have been going through, um, you know, engagements and um, the births of children and things like that. So that is kind of like the similar energy as well. This is definitely for those that are looking for something that is long term. This is about the establishment of the long term relations of relationship, the establishment of something that is going to last quite a while. So with that being said, I'm going to leave this here. I hope you all found it insightful and that it resonated. If it did or if it does, smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Of course, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and I'll speak to you guys in the next one.